Welcome to Out, Out of the, the Box. box. <laughs> da -da -da -da, cheesy as Cheeseville. Right, let's get straight on with something. Last week we had a few issues with sound, and that was because without putting too fine a point on it, my mind was preoccupied. If Lee flees up, flees up, flicks Please. up on the screen for me on Pig01, you're going to see my little doggy, Alfie. Alfie passed away last week. He was 16 in a bit, and he was my little dog. He had been here at Modules every single day it had been started. He was there the day when I started it. If you look at the bottom picture, you'll see him. That's me and him sitting outside the woods where I started Modules for the very first time. I was walking along uh, with the, the walk that I do most evenings with him, uh, with them, it was there, Jimmy and Alfie at the time. And I was muttering to myself, I wish somebody would write a really good website where somebody talks about shoes and videos them and does what I'm doing very, this very moment. And he looked up at me and he said, mm. you could do that. And guess what? Now I do. Mm. Um, Alfie was here every day, as we know, and you can see him there with Rhea and at the old building messing about with my wife and her legs while we're <laughs> trying to do a photo shoot. We're going to miss him greatly. Mm. We love him very, very much. God bless you, Alfie. You are easily one of my best friends I've ever had in my life. And back to the camera. <laughs> ah, that was a bit emotional. <laughs> it no, was, not it? Well, I got through it. Um, anyway, let's go on with something. Let's go on to what's new. So, Ria, oh. what's new? Okay, so um, we have done obviously a few different sneak peeks over the past few weeks, uh, and we released a couple of Gina's last month in chocolate and turquoise we did yes and they've done quite well we've had some good reception on that haven't we yeah yeah very um, pleased so now finally because we've had a lot of questions uh, we can say that we are releasing the khaki and the cherry yeah now the cherry is um it is a different red just in case anyone's wondering um i think the previous one was a bit more of a rust wasn't it it was yeah so i'll bring it up to the close-up just just kind of oh it's already on the close-up look at that um super soft isn't it? it's lovely yeah. Oh, do you know what? I wear mine all the time and the material is just incredible. It is really, really flexible. Um, just a beautiful shoe. So yeah, we'll get, um, don't know where I'm going with that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, that's all right. Um, khaki, similar. It's just an autumnal colour. Again, beautiful soft leather. Um, oh yeah, and with that, you can really dress that up for autumn, can't you? Because khaki is such an autumnal colour. And it is. It's fantastic. Really, really good. Flick up on the screen, we'll show some of our um, ambassadors wearing them. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, one of the things I marvel at is the lots of different design, designs, lots of different takes and outfits yes. that you can have. Yeah. Um, I mean, what else do you say? I mean, you can go from floral right through to moddy, quite through to sort of kind of just modern. Yeah. Any views, Ria? I think the beauty of them is that you can actually wear them all year round. I know people say, oh, the boots, it's for autumn, winter. But um, obviously you can see um, vintage glamour mama there. She's actually wearing a dress and that's in summer. Um, and yeah, it, they, they work perfectly throughout the year. So yeah, yeah. really good boot. Great boot. Um, I think they'd be brilliant in any wardrobe. What else can you say about them? Yeah. Uh, lovely colours. So, um, oh, and on. a zip. Oh, and I don't a zip. Know, if anyone hasn't got a Gina, they've got a zip, so it's a lot easier. You don't have to do, undo the um, the laces, which is a really good feature, yeah. actually. It's, it's very good. So, so, Andy, what this top you've got on? Tell us about it. Is this oh, a new one? Um, well, I could be very cryptic, or we could just run the VT. First time I recall The Who coming into my life was I think 1980. Virgin re-released My Generation LP and it was shown in Smash Hits. Yeah, I know, I was only just 11. The cover is an instant classic and it's influenced thousands of people. Jerry Dammers admits to nicking the cover for the first specials LP. I like all the outfits and whilst I wouldn't wear the Union Jack jacket, it's a real standout. Townsend at the time said they got contacted by the police for defacing the flag. I love all of those outfits on that cover. It's a brilliant, brilliant cover. We must mention the 1977 version of the Jam and right up to date with the Molotovs. My next big Who moment was seeing them on the old Grey Whistle test doing a quick one. This defo cemented my love for the band. It's a great clip with a high energy level. It was a full another 10 years or more 
so we sort the full song. I didn't get to see Quadrophenia for ages. There was no way Mum was going to let me watch an 18 plus video. Once I did though, as we all know, there's a great clip of the band on Ready Steady Go wearing great outfits and looking the absolute dogs. Dolce's shirt is fab. They look perfect. Now in the 80s, we didn't have the internet and all the pictures I saw of The Who were in a few sporadic books. It wasn't till CCI Mod Rally, Yarmouth, 86, I saw this picture on the side of a Vespa. I really love this image. I think it's when they were technically the high numbers. All the band are in a perfect pose, the clothes, what the song are they doing? I still have a thousand questions I want answering about it. And look, two Rickenbackers. I couldn't even afford one. I recall finding the odd single in second-hand shops, but my generation single always seemed to be so expensive. For a 45 that sold thousands. If I'm showing off, which I am, <laughs> I now even have the rare ones and I must thank my friend Terry for that. Moving on through the 90s and with the advent of the internet more pictures came about through books and magazines and of course on the internet itself. These days it's dead easy to find an image of the Who. One of the ones I've always liked is this from what I believe to be the Pete Meaden era where he used dressing the band to full mod appeal. Townsend had a lovely striped top and I had one similar in the past. So this year, when we did the on campus in red, white and blue, in the back of my mind, I always wanted to do the Townsend colors. So here it is, and I expect you've guessed the name, on campus Townsend colors. Dave Quad is very much inspired by the top worn by Dave in the film Quadrophenia. If you know the film, it's the one of the last scenes of the gang in the cafe. The top has two sets of stripes, one here down one side, and again on the pocket. A simple placket with matching buttons, and a vintage styled collar. And the top is made from 100% cotton, and is very soft, and a joy to wear. Welcome back. Hello. Um, yeah, so it's been a good little show. It has, so, yeah. Definitely yeah, some good yeah. bits in the show, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah why not? <laughs> That's the idea. Um, this week's discussion point. Well, the discussion is... point is, and it should be on the screen as we speak, what's your favourite Who song? Dead simple, your favourite Who, favourite, favourite Who song. Obviously not easy for me <laughs> to say. a mouthful, that one. <laughs> oh, that's not good, is it? 
So as always, it is a competition. Um, comment below your favorite song for a chance to win and then watch next week's show um, just to see if you've won. Yep, so last week's winner was Isaac Fortune. So that's last week's winner was Isaac Fortune. Mm -hmm. um, he'll win a little prize if you contact us. Um, message us on Facebook or email or whatever yeah. way you know, then there's a little prize for you. We've had quite a few good prizes come out this past few weeks. So yeah, yeah. Well, we've been reasonably happy. generous. Yes. Yeah, yeah, which is quite nice of us. So uh, um, what else should we say about that? These are out this weekend. Mm -hmm. This is out this weekend. I don't think that anything else to add, is there? No. No, we're all good. We'll see you again next week. Bye-bye right. for now. <laughs> Solid Bond's tops returned this season after being very well received last year. Here is the rust red and cream black version. Notice the rust stripes have a lovely deep colour. The collar is longer than last year's, as are the tops themselves. This is the navy and blue version. Again, these colours make a beautiful but simple combination. In terms of styling, of course these can be worn fully done up. Or perhaps go for the Goodfellas look. However you style, the Solid Bond is a classic piece and will make a great addition to your collection. Yeah.